We're just setting up today for the Digital Annex University 2014. It's going to be a great day. We've got a packed crowd of uh, retailers, manufacturers, hotel groups, catering companies, you name it. They're here to see anthropologists, futurologists, we've got growth hackers, we've got some of our own guys talking about big data and how to interpret it. We're going to learn a lot. Let's crack on. quite a tricky decision what wine you want we wanted to show off that just from a bottle we could do so much more with it you know if you're there in a supermarket you've got like six bottles to choose from you're like oh, I have no idea which one bring it over to a little stand that we set up and straight away you get immersed in the whole thing you learn about the taste you learn about what food goes with it you learn where that food is in the supermarket you know we can direct them to that we could also show them you know, you could download a shopping list from Waitrose. We do that for you in the app, send it to your phone straight away, and then you've got the whole thing set up. I think one of the values of events like this that doesn't really get spoken about is the other attendees. Everyone sitting in that room has something in common with you, and they want to talk to you. And I find when you're chatting to people from differing fields or kind of fields that are close, you can get some really inspiring thoughts going off in your mind. We've been demoing the Google Glasses. We've got an exhibit set up uh, where people can use the glasses and then run through a sequence of steps uh, which demonstrates how to make a, an origami crane. So the idea behind it is education. Uh, an example could be whereby a, a recipe or a set of instructions could be overlaid on the Google Glasses. You just uh, throw the instruction its way um, and it will take you to a useful piece of information. One of the things that we're, we're following this year is how shoppers aren't just buying things in store. We're showing different techniques about how to market to the same shopper, whether they're at home, whether they're at work, whether they go in store or go back home again. We're using big data to impact that sale. Brands can no longer operate in silos. If you're a fashion brand, you have to learn from the digital realm. If you're a luxury brand, also you must learn from the digital. Um, your brand can't operate in silos if your customers don't want to shop in silos. You have to kind of look to other industries that you thought you had absolutely nothing to do with um, in order to really grow and innovate in the future. Today's been amazing. There was such a brilliant energy in the room and there was a really diverse group of speakers that weren't the same kind of speakers you get on the speaker circuit. I've come here today um, because, well, I want to find out what's going to be coming up with digital because uh, we've all got to keep ahead of the game. I've gone to lots of events like this and sometimes there's some real um, down bits of it and you think, why am I here? For the whole of this event, um, I just thought it was absolutely brilliant. Um, a couple of the big takeouts was around um, friendly tech, the fact that we're going to be much more emotional about our um, technology um, and really about how marketers um, need to um, get into that and work out how they can use it for getting across their messages. Well my talk really was about how failure isn't necessarily a bad thing. In fact if you're not failing occasionally then you're just not trying hard enough. So from examples like uh, Charles Babbage and the analytical engine that he never got around to building all the way through to the laser disc and the mp3 players that then led up to the iPod. Mistakes were made, lessons have been learned. So mistakes and Disasters even are all part of innovation. So we're looking at what's going to be interesting over the next five years and uh, virtual reality is something that's definitely up and coming. Uh, the idea that people will be able to be immersed in completely different worlds, anything that is imaginable and feasible is quite exciting, especially for a creative because you know you can go anywhere. Oculus Rift virtual reality headset you are wearing will allow you to step inside new experiences and completely immerse yourself in virtual worlds. Right, how was that? That was really cool. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I really love events like this because it gives people the opportunity to sit back and actually think 
about their businesses so they're working on their businesses not just working in their businesses and allows new ideas and thoughts to be discussed so we can all learn from each other. One thing I hadn't really heard about was iBeacon and that's uh, something that I'd never come across before and I think it, we can use that um, in, in totally diverse ways for a luxury brand. I was really happy to uh, discover the Google Glasses but uh, all the conferences were really, really good. It's really invaluable um, that people attend events like this. So the different aspects of how we can actually market, especially the analytics actually, the, the fact that we can use the tracking and stuff to find out more about our customers and make sure that we keep all of our marketing relevant to them, I think that's the most that I can carry away from my role. Events like this are really, really valuable. Um, as I said, you've got to keep ahead of the game and things are changing so, so fast. Um, um, I remember going to things about 10 years ago where they were talking about um, mobile first. Today um, it was a lot about user first. Um, you've, you've got to keep coming to things like this in order um, to make sure that you're, you're one, one step ahead of the competition. To come here for the day and have it all summarised by some real experts is really useful for, for people that maybe don't have the time to read around the subject of the latest developments in digital technology. So that's it, we've come to the end of the university for another year. It's been a fantastic day. We've had so much energy on the stage and also from the audience. The questions have been amazing you know, and actually I've been surprised by the, sort of the depth and the insights that we've got from the floor. We've learnt loads, we've given away a Google Glass to, for the best tweets of the day. Um, it's been fantastic. All that's left to do now is pack up and start planning for Digital Analytics University 2015.